After you've downloaded the Excel file from Blackboard, go ahead and hit the yellow Enable Editing. That gives us full access to the file. This is, uh, I posted the link, it's from the uh, November elections of Virginia, our, gov our gubernatorial election. And it is not the complete database, it was a snapshot um, kind of while they were still doing some of the counting. And you can see that it's many, many, many rows, a couple hundred, but it's not, you know, infinite. Like I said, it's, I, I've went ahead and I filtered out counties that are in the RCC service region. Not all of them, but a good chunk of them. And I did not filter out any of the columns. So you can still see that there's lots and lots of data here. And the first question we're trying to tackle is, it, it's just like when you were giving a presentation. What story are we trying to tell? What data is important and what isn't? This came out of a database. All of this data, each column, each row, is important to somebody. But is it important to us and our purpose? That's the question. Things like the result type, sort order, locality code, precinct code, value, uh, are these things valuable to us, right? And to be able to answer that, we have to know what purpose, uh, what is our purpose? So for this project, for this example, our purpose is to take this and to be able to figure out who won in each county. That's the purpose. We're going to transform that into something like this. We're going to use many of the tools that Excel gives us. We're going to be using functions, some conditional formatting, some graphs and charts. We want to take this data and boil it down to this. And in order to get to here, there are several things that are very important to us. We need to know which county. We need to know what office was up for election, what candidate they vote for, how many votes and the rest of this is probably not important to us so the first thing we can do is we can kind of clean up our spreadsheet a little bit and there are several ways that we can do that we can simply click on the column name everything in column a is the same this is all part of the 2013 november general election so what could i do i could right click and i could delete that cleans it up, gets rid of it. But you need to be careful when you choose delete. Delete is an action that's part of, um, it's called not, it's called destructive editing, right? In 10 minutes after we've worked on this and I want to get that column back, uh, I can't. I I've destroyed it. I'd have to undo, 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 and maybe I'm lucky and I can get it back, but I'd have to override everything I've done at that point to get there. So I'll go ahead and undo. I could do something called hide, right click and hide it, and it's still there, but I can get it back. This is nice, but it can also get you into trouble because the data is still there. Notice that this is not column A, so you might be looking at this thinking this is column A because it's the first column you see. And that might not be a big deal because you know the spreadsheet and you're working on it, but what happens when you email this to your boss or you pass this off to a colleague or you email it to somebody? They might not know to look at every column and say, oh, there's something hidden here or there's not. They might be trying to use formulas or something. They want to use this stuff that's in column A, but it's not column A, it's column B, and that could mess them up. So neither option is perfect. If I choose hide, that is non-destructive. I can always unhide later. So I could get that data back, but I need to be aware that it is hidden. Uh, for our example, I'm going to go ahead and choose hide, keep with the non-destructive path in case we decide we want to get something back later. I can select multiple columns at once. Again, just by clicking and dragging over the column names, we'll right click, we'll hide those. When I get to column H, I have the opportunity to decide how, uh, how deep down the rabbit hole do I want to go. Am I interested in, at the county level 
what county voted for each or am I interested at the precinct level? We could be interested at the precinct level, but for the sake of time, we're not going to go that deep. I'm going to go ahead and hide that. And I'll hide columns I and J. Now, I do need the office name. I do need the ballot name. And I definitely need the votes. And for our example, the rest of this, we don't need. We can hide. So now I'm left with four columns. Locality name, which are counties. Office name which are the office that was up for election, the ballot name, we see many write-ins, but these are the people who were uh, running for that particular office. And then how many votes for this person in this office in this county? So that's answering question uh, one. What data can be of value to us? What data uh, is of less value is useless to us. For our example, this is um, what is useful to us, and that's the end of part one.